Welcome to this tutorial on reading and note making. We will be following the progress of two students, Stefan and Alex, as they prepare to write an essay. Reading lists are sometimes very, very long. This can be quite worrying for students who may feel that they'll never be on top of their reading. This tutorial aims to help you to gain control over your reading and your note making. Alex and Stefan have just received the options for their next essay title. They read through the list. This needs some thinking about. Let's go to the cafe. They wonder for a few moments whether they can get away without doing any background reading but they soon realise what their essays would lack. It's clear that some serious reading will be necessary. Alex is getting very stressed. Then he rushes off to the library to get started straight away. Meanwhile, Stefan stays behind. Alex becomes very busy, reading and making notes. And 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 reading and making notes. Until he falls asleep. And starts to dream. He dreams about going shopping in a big supermarket. Without a list and piling more and more into the trolley. He's not sure whether he really needs it, but he'll take it just in case. Eventually, he has transferred everything to his trolley. But he certainly can't pay for it all. And he doesn't even know whether he's found what he really wanted. There's probably something in that trolley that he really needs, but goodness knows how he's going to find it. Back in the cafe, Stefan has almost finished his drink and has been planning what to do. From his essay title, he has created a rough plan of the essay he thinks he will write. From that plan, he then creates a list of what he specifically wants to look for in the literature that will be relevant to this particular essay. This means that he can be quite selective in what he chooses to read. He can also be selective in his note making, only taking notes that are likely to have a place in his essay. Time to pack his bags and head for the library. He sees Alex sleeping, so he doesn't disturb him. He collects a small pile of relevant material and settles down to make the specific notes he needs to fit his essay plan. Stefan makes fewer notes than Alex because he has thought a lot more about exactly what he's looking for. After a while, Alex wakes up and he gets back to his massive task of making notes from all of the books. Meanwhile, Stefan has collected plenty of material to get going with some essay writing. He puts the books away and leaves. So remember, to be efficient and effective in your note making, when you're given your next essay title, don't rush off and start to read and make notes. Instead, Stop and examine the title carefully for requirements and possibilities. Think. How could you tackle this essay title? What do you think could be your overall argument? And what are the different aspects that you need to address? Plan. Plan a draft essay structure and use that plan to decide what specific notes you need to take to start to fill in that structure and create a full essay. Using a strategy like this should mean that your reading is more focused and your note making is a more manageable and productive process. <laughs>